Hey, 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 guys, how's it going, everybody? My name is Wolfswinger, ladies and gents. Welcome back to a brand new Fortnite and LEGO DC Super Villains video because today we're gonna cross them over into an epic custom. So, what we're gonna need to do is pause the game real quick, head over to the customizer, and then within the customizer, jump on into the design of the day. With season seven now being live, I felt like it would only be appropriate to go on ahead and design links both as the starting character or the starting character model i should say and then work our way up all the way up to the variation where she is fully powered up so two questions for you lovely folks and that is very simple and uh at the down in the comment section below just let me know which character should we take on next ideally pick someone from season seven just because of course that's the most recent of the seasons and i think it'd be kind of cool to focus on that but either way let's go on ahead and get to work don't forget also guys hit that like button subscribe if you haven't yet and make sure you ring that bell so that you have the notifications turned on all right folks who here we go okay so where do we need to start we need to start somewhere where there's going to be a character with glasses because she does have glasses okay wait so first of all we need I don't even know which... Does she have... I don't think she has, like, super a lot of makeup like that. But maybe she does. So I think I think that's a pretty accurate design, actually. Because she does have that little spot over her lip as well. So, uh, the little... I don't even know what you call that. A birthmark? I don't, I don't know what you would specifically describe that as. But what I do know is that we need to give her the glasses. Which is looking pretty cool. Wow. This is actually... A pretty decent design i'm not gonna lie like we're, we're sort of uh sort of crushing it uh let's see we need to yeah let's change the lip color because i don't think it's quite that bright but then again i don't even know what the heck i'm talking about with this i wish there was somebody who would understand more i'm looking at a picture of her right now so i'm just like i think that's pretty close <laughs> you know and i'm hoping that it turns out well once we're done okay so we do need somewhat of a longer not super long but also not super short haircut yeah that's a little bit too long oh wait a minute i forgot she has the hat as well uh let's see are there baseball caps but ones that are facing backwards because that would be kind of important for this character you know sort of a crucial component of getting this character right is Having that all taken care of. I'm just curious. I, I want to see real quick if we did this, let's say, because we've got two colors, right? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Because that way we can get the pink hair. And then maybe the hat is blue. Okay. It's a possibility. I know it doesn't have the cat ears or anything like that, but we were not going to be able to get it to be perfect either way. So that's definitely a possibility. Now, outside of that, the biggest issue is that you cannot mix and match the hat with um, hair. Because if you put hair, it takes off the hat. If you put the hat, it takes off the hair, and vice versa. So, that's really where the issue comes in. Um, something like that is cool, but again, not particularly accurate. So... I think that's what we're going to have to do, is we're going to have to go on ahead and make kind of a sacrifice one way or the other i think what we should do is just get, go with the hair and then uh if need be we could change it up later on so that we're, we're gonna go with the hair uh and no hat that's that's the sacrifice we're gonna have to make for this character it's just gonna have to be the way it is okay arms uh now she does have a lot of tattoos the issues is that we cannot introduce that in any way uh in the game so we're obviously going to need to just kind of use our imagination and say like yeah she's totally got tattoos on her hands there right so we're going to give her kind of the sleeveless shirt or the short sleeve um shirt which is kind of what she wears anyway so in that sense it's accurate but i also understand that it's not perfectly replicat replicated or replicatable i don't even know what the word would be but there we go. Okay, so we've got most of the easy stuff done. Uh, now for the legs. Oh, man. 
Okay, we need to think some way to have sneakers and then mostly white leggings, maybe something like this. Like, uh, let's see. No, that won't work. So we need to pick a character where there is distinctly boot. What does the recolor here do? Nope. I mean, I guess technically that's not the worst. Right? It's just that ideally the sneaker should be white. So kind of like that one, but the boots part needs to be white in order to be accurate. You know what? I guess what we could do is just do this, right? We could do that. And then maybe put like a light blue for the boots. Sort of like this, right? I don't even know if the leggings are necessarily white because they're kind of like off-white. I don't know. I guess they are white. Okay, we'll go with white leggings and then the... Um, Boots are going to be kind of light-ish blue, even though, realistically, in the picture, they do have a little bit of orange in there. Yeah, that's way too much orange. Maybe something like that, just to break up the color. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Now, uh, hip color just needs to match the leggings like that. And then comes probably the most difficult part, and that is the torso piece, because, well, how the heck do you get like a hoodie and a jacket and all that i guess technically wait before we even continue i'm curious about something where is there there we go there's a hoodie so that would be moist i'm gonna try to match it to the sleeves i think that's the right color okay not bad so at least we nailed that part and now let's think what else what else do we want to have here for the character um so it's mostly a black undergarment like the torso is black no like any details or anything like that but then the jacket she has this really cool jacket that's blue so if we can match something like that that'd be nice outside of that it would be exceptionally difficult to try to figure this out oh man there's so many options but honestly Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't think of very many that are... Hmm. If this changes the color of the jacket... Oh, man. So this is awesome, but the problem is that the torso is white instead of being black there. Oh, man, but that really works nice because it gives us that cool jacket look. You know? Okay, what if we did this? We're going to make a compromise. We're going to... Since we made a compromise with the... What is it called? The hair? We're gonna do something here as well. What we'll do is, we'll just simply flip-flop the design a little bit, right? So then we have this kind of pattern. We're, we're gonna have the black on the hips, but then the torso is white. And that gives us a nice balance, right? Look at that! Not too shabby. Link's looking pretty stylish, if I'm gonna say so myself. Okay, now, we, uh, we could have attached a back bling, I guess, but it's so controversial in terms of which one should it be, so I think we're just going to keep it as it is. Dual wielding pistols are no longer a thing, so we cannot use that, unfortunately. Now, what we could do... Hmm. Turn to the side here. We could go with a pickaxe, actually. Right? So go with, like, a an axe. There we go recolor that to be let's go with like an ice pickaxe there we go guys that is pretty pretty awesome so here's the key thing that we need to adjust of course retitle the character powers and so on and so forth is really up to your personal preference in terms of what you would like to loot so with that in mind Let's go on ahead and now power up Lynx to her ultimate form. So what we're going to need to do is step onto the customizer plate once more. And let's get Lynx powered up to the full progression or the fully progressed version of Lynx. Now, I will say that the variation that I'm going to go for specifically is going to be... Hmm, I think I'm going to go with the... Uh, like the all black kind of design because I think that's the coolest one because it kind of looks like black cat so that's the one I'm going to go with um, but I'm trying to decide here what do we want to give her as far as weapons I think that should work it's like the SMG or something right 
So it, so it, it sort of works for the character. Okay, so time to build the character. Okay, let's start with... I don't even know. Let's start with... I, I guess let's start with the stuff that's kind of easy in terms of we know what it needs to look like. The sleeves are going to be black like that, so there's no issues there. We definitely, definitely want to go on ahead and include the very cool tail. Uh, so that looks pretty sweet, right? And then we need to recolor the hips. Again, probably mostly black, but you know what? Something with like a little bit of a belt buckle is kind of cool so that it breaks up the flow of the design. So I think that that's pretty nice. Then some cool boots. I think those boots are great. The only thing is that then we should change the hips because I think the belt just makes it look a little bit too busy. There we go. Okay. Now, torso-wise... Oh man, I'm trying to think which character could work here. We, we want to mostly just kind of black torso, like not not even any particular details on it. Uh, does this recolor to fully black or no? It does not, okay. Um, I'm trying to think what torso might be able to work well for us here. We could maybe use the Mercy Graves torso. Hmm, okay. That's a possibility. Certainly is a possibility there. I would consider that one. It's probably the current runner-up, or not runner-up, the current winner, really. Current contender to take this because I'm not really seeing very many other options. Like something like this looks cool, but it honestly adds a little bit too many details to be quite frank, so I don't think it works as well. Uh, unless if what's the recolor on that actually I wonder what recolors oh okay wow the whole torso recolors interesting do, 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 do. hmm maybe just go with the black uh, with the Catwoman design so then it's like really fitting I think that's kind of cool actually why not right because I said that she would look a little bit like Catwoman so it's a little bit inspired by that look so I think that that's neat now now comes the tricky part. So, for this one, I think what we'll do is we'll do the cat ears kind of design in the back. We definitely need to remove that mustache, without a doubt. There's no need for that. We can promise you that much. Um, now, the only thing is, I am actually kind of curious to see, for the Lynx design, it does look like she has... Still kind of like a ponytail. Um, mm, so, <laughs> so that makes me think sort of if we need, like how could, not that if we need, but how the heck could we include that? Okay, you know what? Let me finish the design and then afterwards we could always add to it if need be. But for now, that's pretty good. It's pretty clean as far as the look uh, is concerned. Let's work on the face here. So for the face we want, ideally, I guess honestly, that's not even like a terrible look necessarily for the face, I guess. Okay, you know what? Let me just recolor. Whoa, that's definitely wrong. We want to recolor. I'm trying to see if there's anything better. I think that looks really, really, really cool, but the red is its just a little much, unfortunately. In this particular circumstance. Okay, so that's what we'll need to do is go to face then, go to head, piece. There we go. That is not too shabby at all. I don't know why, though. I feel like the torso is, like, the wrong color. Why is it, like... Why does the torso look way more of a saturated black than... Like, do you guys see that? Or is it just me? Like, it looks like everything else is... Yeah, you see? There we go. Now it matches. It really was a darker color. That's so weird. I wonder why that is. But that's a pretty sweet rendition of Lynx right there. At least so far. I also feel like it might not be a bad idea to maybe add some shoulder pads. Oh, but you can only have one attachment at a time. That's true. Is there anything here, maybe? No. 
I was trying to figure out some way to like make her look a little bit more unique and accurate and so on and so forth, but I don't think that was going to happen. So overall, ladies and gents, I think that that is our fully powered up form for Lynx. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at both of our characters out in the open. And of course, do not forget, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Also, down in the comment section below, do not hesitate letting me know at the end of this thing which design did you like the best. And also, vote on what you would like to see next. Maybe it's the Ice King. Maybe it's, um, I don't know, the Waypoint skin that just came. Or is it Point Way or Waypoint? I think it's Waypoint. Waypoint skin. There's several different options that you could go on ahead and select from. So do not hesitate to let me know. So first and foremost, of course, we have our Link skin right here, which looks pretty ridiculously awesome. I'm super duper happy with the way that this one turned out. Outside of, of course, the hat. If we could have just had the cat ears hat, that would have really completed this thing. But then we did go on ahead and power up and end up with even a cooler design here for the one and only fully progressed variation of Link. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Catch you guys here next time. Peace out. See you later. Alligators.